Hello everyone. Today we will look what is aldol condensation. First of all, we will split this word into two phrases. This is combination of basically aldol and condensation. Aldol is again formed from two words, ALD and OL. ALD stands for aldehyde and OL star, uh, stands for alcohol. So the product that we will get after this reaction will be an aldol. It will have two functional groups, aldehyde and alcohol. But according to IUPAC nomenclature, the aldehyde is given preference over alcohol. So aldehyde will be our main functional group and alcohol will be treated as substituent. So what is condensation reaction? Condensation is basically a reaction in which two smaller molecules combine and they eliminate a small molecule and a large molecule is formed. Just remember the example of amino acid. Like two amino acid glycine and alanine are reacting with each other. They will eliminate a molecule of water and a peptide bond will be formed. This is basically a condensation reaction. And reverse of condensation reaction is basically hydrolysis in most of the cases. So what is aldol condensation? Aldol is being formed and a small molecule is removed. This is the simpler meaning of this term aldol condensation. Now, what is catalyst? Catalyst is basically a species which lowers the energy of activation and it can be recovered chemically unaltered at the end of the chemical reaction. Like your catalyst is not being used up during the reaction. It is not being consumed. You will separate it. It is just lowering the activation energy and you will witness it over here. This is the first step of aldol addition. It is not aldol condensation at the moment. I will turn it to it later. Here we are having acetaldehyde. Remember acetaldehyde is the simplest possible enolizable aldehyde. Uh, here the carbonyl group and you are having an uh, alpha hydrogen on this carbon. This is basically functional group carbon and here uh, this is alpha carbon and the hydrogen on alpha carbon will be called as alpha hydrogen. A base will come and it will remove this alpha hydrogen. Why this alpha hydrogen is removed and not this hydrogen is removed? This is a question. This hydrogen is acidic. If you remove this hydrogen, what will be the product? Where will the electron density of this double bond will go? Like you will do it this way, putting a triple bond over here. What about this carbon? So it might be problematic. That's why this is not removed and this hydrogen is removed, which is acidic. So you are getting an enolate. These electrons move over here. These electrons move on oxygen to form a negative ion. Here, this is combination of three words, enolate, in, all, and it. In is basically standing for alkene over here. All is for alcohol and it is for this negative charge. So enolate. In the very next step, this enolate ion attacks on unenolized aldehyde like sodium hydroxide is not so strong based to enolize all of the aldehyde present in the beaker. So it will attack on the electrophilic carbon center. This is basically nucleophilic. And we will get this product over here. What is actually happening? These electrons of the oxygen are moving over here. These electrons from the double bond are moving on the carbon to result in this bond this one and uh, these electrons are moving over here so this thing is formed this is again having negative charge that is like really unstable it will snatch a proton from the water hydroxide will be eliminated and aldol will be formed why is it aldol 
this is for alcohol and this is for aldehyde so we are getting an alcohol hydroxyl was the catalyst it was being used over here and it is recovered chemically unaltered in the end so now we will look mechanism of acid catalyzed aldol addition reaction remember it is not condensation so this oxygen has two electron pairs it can act as a nucleophile this hydrogen is having positive charge which is basically coming from some acid like uh, hydrochloric acid hydrobromic acid hydroiodic acid etc this oxygen when a coordinate covalent bond will be formed and this oxygen will have positive charge now this hydrogen this proton which is already too acidic in the presence of this carbonyl will leave the system and uh, we will get an enol here it should be removal of a proton should be mentioned which is not mentioned over here on the arrow so enol will be formed these electron will move on oxygen to eliminate this positive charge this is enol not enolate en for double bond and all for alcohol what is difference of the base catalyzed and acid catalyzed aldol addition reaction in base catalyzed we got an enolate not an enol but here we are getting enol in the very next step we are having another molecule of cyclopentanone which is uh, uh, which is having a coordinate covalent bond with this proton from the acid the purpose of adding acid is to make this carbon more electrophilic how this oxygen was electronegative and it was snatching electron from this carbon to give a partial positive charge but here this oxygen is having a plus charge it will snatch majority of the electron density of these two two bonds to minimize its positive charge so enolization is like little bit easier in this case again the carbon is super electrophile over here like its electrophilicity electron deficiency has increased these pi electrons can attack over here and these pi electrons will move on oxygen so that oxygen can get a relief from the negative charge this compound will be formed again there would be a removal of proton from here so that the positive charge of oxygen is removed in this way a proton is removed and we are getting alcohol here you can get a confusion like uh, we added one proton and we removed two protons one over here and one over here that's not true basically we are getting an other addition of proton to this cyclopentanone over here two protons added two protons removed and we are getting our aldol so acid is a catalyst next what is aldol condensation then until now we talked about aldol addition so aldol condensation is like this is not the complete mechanism that i presented just now basically elimination is happening this was our product that we obtained from the base catalyzed aldol addition reaction now just have a look this proton is much more acidic as compared to the proton that we removed from acetaldehyde why here is a carbonyl which is electron withdrawing and here it is attached to pro, uh, to a hydroxyl group which is again electron withdrawing by inductive effect so it will also pull some electron density from this carbon which will put uh, pull electron density from this carbon in the end this proton will become more acid so hydroxyl group hydroxyl will attack over here and we will get an other enolate it is just the same like we got in the previous case in the very next step this oxygen moves over here this double bond over here and this bond over here so our hydroxyl will be eliminated and we will get a double bond over here 
this is our functional group carbon this carbon is alpha carbon and this carbon is beta carbon so this compound is referred as alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound fine okay what is e1cb e1cb stands for elimination unimolecular conjugate base this reaction most of the times happen in the presence of a base and during the reaction you will always get a conjugate base look this was acid its proton was removed and the species that will be formed it will be called as conjugate base acid always forms conjugate base and base always forms conjugate acid how elimination or how we will get aldol condensation in the presence of acid in the presence of acid this hydroxyl will be converted into a good living group which is water or hydronium ion here this hydronium ion well when it will get electron from here it will become a neutral molecule like water and uh, you will get a positive charge over here carbocation and we know that carbocation uh, is really unstable like it is not so stable although this is a tertiary carbocation it is a little bit stable but even then it will try to remove its positive charge which is all which is only possible that you can remove hydrogen from here here or here if you remove hydrogen from here then there would be a positive uh, double bond over here or here just look at this the double bond which is near to carbonyl group it can resonate and it is more stable so these two hydrogens are not removed and this hydrogen is removed in the presence of acid so you are getting one proton out and this is our alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound now just look this is basically aldol condensation here a water molecule is being removed and here a water molecule is being removed over here so this is condensation if you stop your reaction until this stage then this is aldol addition not condensation i think this is clear to you so what conclusions can we draw from uh, our study first of all base catalyzed aldol reactions may give the aldol product or may give the dehydrated enone or enol by an e1cb mechanism in the presence of base there is a possibility that you can separate the product at first step or you can proceed towards e1cb by specific conditions whereas in the presence of acid catalyzed reactions they may give the aldol product but usually the dehydrated product is more often obtained fine now i will talk about the kinetics of base catalyzed aldol condensation kinetic is basically the branch or the branch of chemistry which gives us an idea about the rate of reaction fine uh, if the hydroxyl concentration is too low then our reaction is second order and uh, the first step is the rate determining step but what if your hydroxyl concentration is too high then your reaction becomes independent of the hydroxyl concentration or in the normal case as well uh, just look at the example of photosynthesis what happens in photosynthesis carbon dioxide is reacting with water and you are getting glucose and oxygen right but that reaction only depends upon the concentration of only concentration it does not depend upon the concentration of carbon dioxide why because carbon dioxide is present in excess in the atmosphere it is not a limiting factor same is the case in this example downward this one hydroxyl will be in excess and it will not 
we are determining factor towards rate of reaction so this the second step is basically rate determining although the reaction is still second order but the substances are not like this one hydroxyl is replaced with enolatine that is so easy so now i will talk a little bit about cross condensations or cross aldol condensation this is basically aldol condensation of two different aldehydes or ketones this is cross condensation or cross aldol condensation the previous one that i mentioned earlier the two examples of acid and base catalyzed were basically self condensation now here you are having this ketone this is this will react with para nitrobenzaldehyde and you will get this product in the presence of acid this is an aldol condensation product not an aldol addition product what is actually happening this hydrogen is removed so this carbon will attack on this carbon right and you will get a hydroxyl over this position then hydroxyl from here and proton from here will be removed and you will get this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl there is one thing about this reaction that it is working really good our yield is 99% which is nearly quantitative why it worked well the reason was that there was no alpha proton on the para nitrobenzaldehyde and our other enolizable partner is also having only one enolizable proton it was not enolizable on this position if it would not have been the case then we would have got a mixture of products a lot of products fine and here its mechanism it is so simple first an enolate is formed in the presence of a base from that our ketonic compound it will attack on para nitrobenzaldehyde and we will get this in the presence of roh it can be water as well uh, we will get this aldol product and again after enolization we will get this alpha beta unsaturated compound and this is basically e1cb elimination unimolecular conjugate base now there is a question how to make a cross aldol condensation successful there are two parameters that uh, one partner only must be capable of enolization like both of the partners must not be able to enolize and second the other partner must be incapable of enolization and be more electrophilic than the enolizable partner this is basically very important thing now just look at here if i make enolate of this one of this ketone what will happen as i mentioned earlier sodium hydroxide is not so strong base it can also it it will only enolize some extent of this ketonic moiety then the unenolized ketone can also go under reaction with this enolate but because this nitro group which is present on para position is deactivating this carbonyl it will snatch electron density from here and due to snatching of this electron density it becomes much more electrophilic as compared to this carbonyl and we get the single product so the second point is so important that your other uh, reacted must be more electrophilic than the first one so that our reaction can go smoother if both are like nearly more uh, equal electrophilic then we can go for some other strategies which i may show you in some follow up videos thank you for your time